there's been plenty of talk in regards to what happens with Daredevil in the future of the MCU. It even looks like we're gonna be getting a follow-up series or a fourth season or however they decide to frame that. Recent comments by Charlie Cox seem to hint at the idea that maybe multiple storylines that we had in the previous seasons would not get resolution or even proper follow-ups. So in this case, Charlie Cox would not be the first actor to say this because Vincent D'Onofrio has sort of hinted at this as well. And recently, Daredevil himself, Charlie Cox, was a guest at a comic convention in Abu Dhabi and he was talking about Daredevil returning and ideas for his return. And specifically, what they might do with leftover storylines, leftover characters, and how exactly would they handle that. And the interesting thing is, is he says that he believes that it doesn't make sense and you can't just pick up where season three leaps off. That many of those things would have naturally moved on and that times are different. The characters are different. Where they are in the world is different. The world is different and where the MCU is right now, it makes sense that time has passed and Maybe some of these things were resolved off screen. And in that way, you don't know what exactly you can do. And this to me honestly makes sense. Daredevil has to be a soft reboot. It just has to. It doesn't have to ignore everything that came before, but you can't just pick up and say, hey guys, it's been 10 years since you saw season three, because let's be real, time has passed. There was the five year gap and more time will have gone by by the time we get Daredevil and his crew dealing with whatever fallout and another confrontation with Wilson Fisk. You can't just go, oh, okay, let's just bring back everything. Melvin's coming back. Oh, Turk is going to come back. He's here now. Like, you can't just bring everything back and pick right up where you left off. Naturally, some things will have changed. Maybe many things will have changed. For all we know, we get back to it. Foggy's not in the show anymore because one, the actor maybe couldn't come back or maybe doesn't want to, they couldn't work it out. But maybe Foggy now has kids in the series and you're like, well, we can't do that anymore. So now he's got somebody else, right? Working with him. Again, we don't know how they're going to advance these characters. And I understand that. And I honestly think that that's the smart way to do it. I don't just want a season four or pick up right where you left off because that's honestly doing everybody a disservice. Flashback, sure, but just picking up six months to a year later just doesn't work. Then again, we're still stuck in prequel territory, and there's no way they're going to waste time on that. And I personally think it's a smart idea to just kind of jump to modern day and see what's happened and fill out the details, and then we'll see what happens. Like, we know him and Iron Fist, for example. They got some connection there with uh, the hand and everything. So do we get back to that when the hand is somehow reintroduced maybe as a splinter group of the 10 rings or something you know what else could they do they could do tons of things they could do tons of retcons now so it's all open to them and it makes sense so i guess we'll see and again we just gotta kind of wait and see how they position this in terms of where it takes place and what they do with it before we really get upset because people will get upset let's be real 